Hi guys, good evening, welcome. Nice to have you in the class. Hi good Wendy, morning, hello Hi, Anna, teacher. good evening. Hey, everybody. How was your day at work, Wendy? Oh, very, very busy. Busy, occupied. Busy, yes. For, thank, thanks, God. <laughs> ah, okay. Did you yes. did you sell air tickets today? Air tickets, four, five, six air tickets. Wow, you sell mm -hmm. a lot of tickets. You are yes. a good seller. <laughs> okay, well, nice to see you here. And Anna, what about you? How was your day at work? How do you feel? Good. And are you feeling yes. tired? Normal? Normal. Normal. Yes. Oh, okay. I got out. Early. I got out this and uh, uh, two p.m. Congratulations! Oh, okay, why? Why did you get out early? Is uh, for the fourteen hours in the company. Ah, uh, okay, forty, forty hours. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, not forty-four in your case. No, you have like a short day. in the court. You have a short yes. day. Ah, yes. okay. It's a good schedule. Yes. Okay, Anna, good. And Lily, yes. how about yes. you? Hello. Eh, aparece solo un nombre porque estoy con un dispositivo que se me arruinó la computadora y no hay como poner los ah, dos nombres ahí. I'm going, to, I'm going to change it for you. And how are you feeling, Lily? ¿Cómo va con su herida? Are you ya better? Mejor. Ya el lunes me quitan los puntos y el martes a trabajar. <laughs> ah, ok. And have you rested? ¿Se ha descansado bastante? Yes. Ah, ok. ¿Mm? Ah, you got bored. Yes. Se aburre estar en la casa. Yes, it's normal. Ajá, uh -huh. that's true. Ok, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilia. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Francisca Elizabeth. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. And Jonathan. Jonathan Vigil. <coughs> then Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. Mayra Moreno. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Okay, thank you. And then Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, and Jenny Santos. Jenny is not here in this moment. Okay, we were going to start the class by listening to the role plays. Y vamos a iniciar la clase con los role plays. Pero no sé si habrá, creo que no hay ninguna pareja ahorita, ¿verdad? Que esté, que esté justo. Ana, were you working with Maria Concepción? Usted no estaba trabajando con Maria Concepción, Ana. No, Nelson and Jenny. Nelson and Jenny, oh, but Jenny yeah. is not here. Yeah. Lily? Ah, you yeah. were working with Maria Concepcion. Yes. Let me look at this. Ah, uh -huh, Ana Lilian. Hello, and... teacher. Me sacó Zoom un ratito. <laughs> ah, OK. I'm going to add you here. Aquí la voy a agregar entonces. And Maria Concepcion, can you share the role play with the class? OK. Se ve, teacher. Um, it's loading. Está cargando. It's loading. Okay. Ahora sí. 
Mm, well, in my case, I can't. In mi caso, todavía no veo, but... Ah, okay. Now I can see it. Oh, I see it, teacher. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ana Lilian. Hello, Mary. How are you? Not good. Why? Because I lost my phone in the bus and don't, don't know what to do. Go to the station and report the. Hey, yeah. Sit. I don't know where where is it. I think I should help being being careless. The police station is two blocks in front of the park. Thank you very much for your help. See you later. See you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Lily and Maria Concepcion. Yesterday I told you that it's it's very, very good. Okay. Maybe you know the only thing I noticed, quizás lo único que, que vi que no estaba, no sé si ayer si estaba o no, es donde dice don't know what to do. Solo agreguele el I. I don't know what to do. I don't remember that part. Así que solo that only that's the only thing. But thank you. Thank you, Maria Concepcion and Lily. It's perfect. And then Omar, you were working with Carlos, but he's not here. Then Wendy and Rodrigo, you did it yesterday. Jonathan and Zaira, can you continue? Is it possible for you? Jonathan, Jonathan. Uh, sorry, or is that I mean, driving? I see. You're driving, okay, all right. Galileo is Mayra. Okay. Then, Miss, no hay nadie, ¿verdad? Parejo. Yes. Yo puedo decir los dos. You have the info. Mm, yes. Ah, okay. Okay, please. Okay. Please share the, the info with, with us. Okay. The situation is. I lost my phone in the bus. Hello. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Hello, Mr. Omar. Where are you? So, so. Why? I lost, I lost my, I, my phone in the bus. How did you lose it? I don't know. I should not how you see the phone in the bus. I should be careful. You should not how take the call. I will take your advice into account, Mr. Escobar. Finish, Miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Omar. It sounds well. I appreciate it that you read the dialogue. Ok, so the ones who didn't do it, los que no pudieron, ¿verdad? Porque no estaban parejos. Please send me the dialogue by WhatsApp and I will check it. I will check it later. Teacher, no sé si podemos hacerlo. Ahí está Nelson, solo faltaría Jenny. Ah, ok. Ok, no hay problema. Okay. Yo puedo hacerlo de Jenny también. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Ya comparte, ya comparte. Gracias, Ana Beatriz. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm in very early. When was the last time I go to I with? Do you should I have been ready with the umbrella? Do you have the umbrella? 
I should have brought the. Oh, pardon. I should have brought the umbrella, but I forgot, forgot it at home. You call her. Going go to lunch at the restaurant around the corner is cocktail with. I prefer, I prefer the. Okay. Hi, Jenny. I'm here. here. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. I prefer the chicken restaurant food. <laughs> You should have two umbrella, one guitar and one the office for improvised waiter. They are right. Thanks for the recommendation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jenny, Nelson, and Anna. Uh, you good did evening. well. Hello. Good evening. And I see that you finished, right? Lograron terminar. So you use would of, should of. Could of and it's it's perfect. Thank you very much. And Nelson, it is umbrella. That is the the pronunciation. Umbrella. umbrella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Umbrella. Thank you. So let's go on. Today, guys, we're going to practice. Okay, we're going to practice superlatives and vocabulary. Vamos a practicar superlatives de nuevo y vamos a practicar vocabulario, verdad, de de restaurants. We continue with restaurants and we're going to finish talking about restaurants. In this moment, I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to share with you what we will do. Page 26, page 26, building vocabulary. We have to draw a line, draw a line from the words to its correct definition. Vamos a dibujar una línea de la, del concepto a su definición. I'm going to give you maybe like three minutes to read and analyze and then you can tell me your answers. Quisiera que por favor le dieran un vistazo al concepto, al término y a la definición que la lean y luego me traten de decir cuál es la definición de cada palabra. Tenemos work schedule, break, shift, Overtime and call in. Y luego lo vamos a, a terminar juntos. But in this moment, I'm going to give you three minutes to read and analyze. Do you understand what we will be doing? ¿Qué número de página es, Miss? 26. Ah, okay. Do you have questions about the activity? What we will be doing? ¿Alguna duda? No. Okay.
Okay, everyone, from this moment forward, we will continue together. Okay, Laura, help me with break. What is the definition that you think will belong to break? ¿Cuál cree que sería la definición de break? What is the definition for that one, Laura? Okay. I, I smell a small period of, the, of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Thank you, Laura. And now let's check with Maria Concepcion. Do you have the same opinion, Maria Concepcion, or a different one for break? Eh, la misma, teacher. The same, the same opinion. Yes. So yes. you are right. That is the meaning of break. Thank you, Laura and Maria Concepcion. Number three. Let's continue with Oscar. Number three, shift. What do you think will be the definition? Shift uh, the time of the day when a person works. The time of the day when a person works. Thank you, Oscar. And for you, Mayra, are you, are you there, Mayra? Yes, teacher. Ah, hi. What do you think? Shift. The same opinion, the, the same, same. Mm -hmm. For the rest. same of the when a person works. Thank you, Ma uh, Mayra, correct. Now we continue with overtime. We have two, two more definitions, overtime. Okay, Wendy, what do you think about that one? What is your opinion? Mm, when you work more than the regular work, working, Oh, sorry, hours, hours in a day or week. Okay, thank you, Wendy. And you, Saira, do you have the same opinion? Yes, overtime. The same. Okay. Overtime. When you work more than the regular, regular. Mm -hmm. regular working hours in a day or week. Perfect. Thank you, Wendy and Saira. That's the one, mm -hmm. that's overtime. And then we have one, one more to go. Okay, can you help us with that one, Nelson? Call in. What does it mean, call in? I'm sorry. Uh, to telephone your workplace to let them uh, know that you are going to be after or later. Or late, uh-huh. Thank you. That's the one that we use. Call in is like a verb. Es como un verbo. You say, I'm going to call in and I'm going to tell my boss that I'm not working. Cuando llamamos para decir que no iremos. Maybe we okay. are sick or maybe something happened, an emergency. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions about the words? ¿Les han quedado claras? ¿Qué significa cada una de ellas? or not yet? Do you have doubts? Lily, questions, Juan Carlos? Hello? Nelson? Hello. Uh -huh. Questions about the words? No, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, now we continue here. Here we have a schedule. We have a schedule that belongs to Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos, you have to answer five questions about the schedule. Okay, vamos a trabajar en parejas or groups of three triads. You have to check the schedule and answer the questions. Basados en, en esto, van a ver a responder cada pregunta. And I'm going to give you a moment. For example, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays, and you look for the info. Okay, there you have all the info. Okay, is it clear? Or do you have questions about the activity? No questions, Maria Concepcion, clear, Mayra? Yes? Okay, so I'm going to split you out. Los voy a dividir, les voy a dar un momento para que platiquen con su partner. And then we will check together. Let's see. Okay, please accept the 
invite. ¿Qué le pasó a Nancy? No, no, no puedo Pero entrar. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a buscar porque yo lo tengo en físico. Ahorita no me había metido donde lo tengo así en, en la compu, okay. pero ahorita lo voy a ver. Ok. Yo escuché como que la teacher se metió, pero no puedo ver yes. ahorita. I'm yo creo que ahí está. <risa> Hello. Ay, pues, los ando visitando. <risa> Thank you. Sí, yo se los estoy buscando para presentarles porque ellos no lo ah, tienen ajá. así, entonces... No tiene la, la, la copia digital. Ajá, y yo lo tengo ahorita así en físico, entonces por eso le digo a él que no podía. Entonces, ahorita yo lo voy a compartir. Pero y en el Y es. Pues, pues sí, va a ir. Ha dormido mucho. Es que lo tengo no, también así en físico y no lo puedo compartir. La, después de la operación quedé así. Ah, ok. Quedó así, Exacto. pero le va a pasar. <risa> pues no sé por qué dicen que uno no hay que moverse cuando lo opera. Ah, ok. Pero, All right. I hope que you, sí. you get better. No Espero que mejore posible. porque sigues bien incómodo. Yo pensé que era can cansancio de Friday. Ah, sí, fue un día súper pesado. Pero, pero no creo que sea eso. <risa> ok, María Concepción, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Ahí Nelson y Lili le van a... It's loading, Me ahorita está cargando. Ajá, ahí le van a ayudar para que no esfuerce mucho la mente. Sí, no. Ok. Ver, yo voy a confiar en eso. Era la okay. cuarta. ¿Cuál era? Que Page 26. Page 26. Yo soy en la 34, claro. Yo estoy en la unidad 4, lo siento. Ok. Well, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to come back later. And if you need to, solo, hit the bottom. Uh -huh. Solo vamos a, a contestar las preguntas según el cuadro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correct. That is the idea. Okay. Ahora sí. No. Todavía no. Todavía falta. Es 26. 26. Está en la 27 ahorita. Ok. Yo creo que no. porque mi internet está lento. Ahí está, oh, esa sí. es. Ok. Oh, sí. Ok. I'm okay, going to Maria. let you continue. See you in one moment. See you. Okay. Hello, Mayra. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Hello. I like your earrings, Mayra. Me gustan sus, sus earrings. Están bien bonitos. Bien, sí, son bien. Tropicales, cálidos, alegres. I like them. Yo tengo unos. Ah, ahorita sí. Los son más como que brillantes. But I like them. Me quedan bien. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal van? ¿En cuál van? Sorry. Cuatro. Ah, number four. Ah, ok. And do The you have questions one, for I, I don't know. Ah, esa, esa Oscar está basada 
en las occupations de cada, de cada persona. No sé si se recuerdan que como creo que Wednesday vimos una parte que era solo de occupations y dijimos que hacía un, un chef, un server, oh, Basado en, en las responsabilidades de la persona, tienen que decidir quién haría eso. Porque no sí, está así sí. literal. Bueno, nosotros habíamos decidido que era Laura, pero este, yo le decía one? a Oscar, porque como ella es la manager, ¿va? entonces uh -huh. creímos nosotros que ella. Pero para responder solo así, Laura, kitchen uh -huh. manager, solo si lo habíamos puesto. Yo solo tengo Laura. Uh -huh. ah, o si no, yeah. Laura is in charge. Mm -hmm. But yes, that's the answer. Okay, well, I can see you're doing well. Yo veo que ustedes van muy bien acá. Así que no me necesitan aquí, me voy a ir. I'm going to go. But let me know when you're finished. Let me know. Okay. All right. <laughs> see you in one moment. <laughs> Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing, Rodrigo? I finish. You finish? Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. How did it go? Was it easy? Mm. Kind of. <laughs> ah, okay, good. And how do you feel? ¿Qué tal están? No se sienten muy cansaditos ahora. Por ser Friday. Uh, Friday, yes. Hard day at work. Hard day at work. Uh, Hard day at I, work. I Van a dormir como babies today, entonces. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, yes. that's the idea. Okay, well, in that case, we will return to the other room, to the main room, and we will check, we will compare the answers. If you have any okay. doubts, please ask, and I will try to, to explain. Okay, okay, see you, see you back there. Hello, welcome back. So we're going to check the answers and we will check if we have the same information. Okay, so we are going to start with, let me see. Ana and Elena. Okay, Ana and Elena, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? What do you have? Is, is Laura. Laura, Laura Carolina. No, a different Laura. Uh, Laura. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Laura different. <laughs> okay, Laura, is it you? Laura and Juan Carlos, who is? Who is in charge? What do you have? Number one. Laura. Laura. The same. Okay, correct. That is the, the right answer. Laura is in charge. Perfect. Laura. Okay, thank you. Now, number two. Jenny and Zaira, when is the dishwasher's day off? Dishwashers day off is Wednesday, September 6th. Wednesdays. Thank you, Jenny. And now Wendy, Omar, and Rodrigo. Is it the same? Do you agree? Wednesday? Same teacher, yes. Wednesdays, correct. Wednesday. Thank you. That's the one. Thank you, Jenny. Rodrigo. Number three. Let's continue with Lily, Maria Concepcion, and Nelson. How long is Thomas break? What is the duration of the break? Uh, 30 minutes. 30. 30, perdón, 30 minutes. Thank you, Nelson. Mayra and Oscar, what is the duration of the break? The same opinion, teacher. The same. Correct, thank you, 30 minutes. Next one, let's continue with Saida and Jenny again. Number four, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? 
Sofia is bartender on vacation Friday, September 8th, night. Creo que ahí comienzan las vacaciones de ella. On Friday, on the 9th. On, fr on, on the 8th, Friday the 8th. Yeah. Okay, Zaira, yeah. thank you very much. And what do you think, Wendy? Do you have the same, the same point? Yes, teacher. A bartender. Bartender. For In friends. her her vacation, they are September eighth and September 9th. Uh huh. Correct. Friday and Saturday, right? On the eighth and the ninth. Right. Yes. Correct. Thank you. So we're going to say here Friday, vacation will be Friday. And Saturday. That will be the vacation time or days. Okay. Then Juan Carlos and Laura, number five. When is Carlos on training? What is his schedule on Fridays? Monday, teacher. Monday, okay. And this, the schedule? In training, Perfect. teacher, is Tuesday. Training, Tuesday. Oh, training yes, is yes. Tuesday. Excuse me. Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Monday, next week. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> okay. okay. And the schedule? Is, what will be the schedule? Uh, is a schedule is uh, server the a.m. the a a.m. at uh, six p.m. from uh -huh, from eight uh, a.m. from a, uh, to uh -huh. to six p.m. to six p.m. okay yeah. thank you An hour Laura break. and Juan Carlos <laughs> and let's double check Anna and Elena do you have the same opinion as Laura and Juan Carlos. The same opinion, teacher. Same. Mm -hmm. Correct. So it will be Tuesday on Tuesday. And yes, the time is here. Training from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you all have the same information, congratulations, because you have the right information. Do you have any comments about this, this activity? No sé si hay algún comentario antes que... Continuemos. No. Uh, I have a question. Yes. And number five is your question. Do two questions. Two questions. When is Carlos training and what is the schedule on Friday? Mm -hmm. The schedule on Friday is a server. I'm sorry. Uh, schedule for Carlos and Friday is a server. The schedule for Carlos on Friday. Uh huh. This one here will be as a server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, okay. I, I see it. That is similar, but it's a different day. This one will be on Friday in the training Tuesday. Okay. So. Uh-huh. In the four is the question. Number Daddy. four, Sophia. Uh -huh. Number four, Sophia. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Sophia is bartender. Mm -hmm. Her vacation is Friday and Saturday. Uh-huh. Yes, two questions. We have here question number one. She's a bartender. And question number two, vacation on Friday and Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in this moment, I'm going to scroll down. Give me one moment. Uh, Okay, we are going to talk about this 
Vamos a hablar un poco sobre eso. We're going to talk about strategies you consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. There are different strategies. Juan Carlos, can you read the first three strategies, please? Provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Mm -hmm. Find a method to communicate it quickly with employees. Mm -hmm. Take working preference into account. Mm -hmm. You can say preferences into account. Preferences into account. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And Ana, can you read the next three? A schedule having your employees strange in meal. Al allow no sé cómo se allow for change in the schedule. Prevents and sends things using from random. Thank you. you can say absenteeism. Absenteeism. Reminders. Reminders. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. We have some strategies here. Aquí hay algunas estrategias. Do you have new vocabulary? No sé si hay palabras nuevas. To completely or fully understand the strategy, new vocabulary. Absenteeism. 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 Uh, absenteeism is from absent. Viene de la palabra absent. De, de estar ausente, ausentismo, I, I think that will be in Spanish. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. okay. Prevent absenteeism. Anything else? Hay alguna otra palabra? Any other words? Other words? En number, en number one, eh, uh -huh. dice employees quickly. quickly. Yes. La de acá. Quickly is sí. the same as fast. Es lo mismo que fast. Se recuerda de la palabra fast. Sí. What does it mean? ¿Qué se recuerda? ¿Qué significa? Fast. Rápido, fast. Ajá. Ok. Quickly es lo mismo. Fast. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank Other you. questions? You're welcome. No sé si hay alguna otra pregunta. Number four, teacher. Number four. Which one? Eh, friends. Friends. Ajá, friends. Son los puntos fuertes de alguien. Son las ajá, puntos fuertes, strengths. Uh -huh. Eso es lo opuesto a debilidades, ¿verdad? Puntos fuertes. No sé si hay otra Como palabra. Fortaleza, ah, yes. Ajá, fortalezas. That will be the, the right word. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? O ahora sí ya. Comprendemos lo, lo que dice. Okay, I want you to try. I'm going to give you a moment and try to explain which strategy will be better to avoid overstaffing or understaffing. Les voy a dar un momento para que organicen sus ideas y algunos de ustedes me expliquen qué estrategia funcionaría más para prevenir. Eh, tener más empleados de lo necesario, overstaff, o no tener suficientes empleados, que sería understaffing. Try to explain, traten de explicar cuál sería, cuál sería la mejor, the best strategy, que ayudaría más a una compañía a evitar esos dos extremos. Ok. I'm going to give you a moment y luego escuchamos algunos de sus comments. You can also send it in the chat y si quieren lo envían en el chat y ahí también lo, lo leo. Teacher, estrategias para tener más y para no tener. Para no irse a ninguno de los dos extremos. Para que no haya understaff, menos empleados de los necesarios y que tampoco haya muchísimos más. ¿Cuál sería the best strategy in your personal opinion? And you say why. Y me dicen por qué. Why you think so. We will start in two minutes. En dos minutos empezamos a escuchar sus comments y 
improvisemos, ok, improvise. Try to tell me what you think. Okay, so we are going to start with Jenny. Okay, Jenny, what is the best strategy in your personal opinion and why? I think that the uh, manager of each art should, should ev evaluate. Uh -huh, evaluate. Uh -huh, the work or result the the employees mm -hmm. or um, they know if each employee um, is is capable 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 the mm -hmm. uh, solventar all problems to solve or, mm -hmm. or the evaluation um, no sé cómo decirlo. Les diga. tells the evaluation uh -huh. tell them yeah. if uh, for for this work uh, they need more employees mm -hmm. okay so the evaluation is like to control if they need more people or if they need to to fire people. Okay. Thank you, Jenny, for your comment. Excellent. Now let's continue with Anna. What is your opinion, Anna? Is uh, what should be done is a uh, quartz stats analyze analyze como se dice analyze uh -huh. analyze to be with the rice stuff that there is no extortion or ex, excess, excess, excessive, excessive, no. excess, excesses. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, Anna, do you have anything else to add? No sé si iba a agregar algo más. Do you want to no. add something else? Only no. that. Yes. Okay, Only. Anna, thank you very much for your comment. Now, Wendy, can you continue, Wendy? What is your opinion? In my opinion, that manager tried to have a few employees and mm -hmm. hire more only if necessary. But how are they going to know? ¿Cómo lo sabrían? How will they know if they need to hire more people? Uh, 
activity um, work is okay. And um, the production is correct or um, quality all in the work, in the workplace, it's okay? Mm -hmm. No, it's not necessary other, other people, employees. employees. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Wendy, thank you very much. Good job. Now, Lily, Lily, please continue. What is your opinion? In my opinion, uh, I think that if a person, I can really, a yes, who, a person who, who, uh, the work of two area, you can have only one soft customer and, and reception. Okay, Lily, thank you. Can you send me that message? Uh, um, the info in a message. Me envía okay. su comment en, en un mensaje también. Okay. But thank you. Thank you for your comment. Zaira, can you continue, Zaira? What is your opinion? Um, make, <clears throat> make a schedule flexible. For employees. Mm. Why? Por qué? Why? For um, <clears throat> very programmation for hours of movie. The movimiento. The movement. Um, uh -huh. oh, okay. Para hacer este, este, uh -huh. to make the um, more, more, more fast the Faster. work, uh -huh. the work in hours, en horas pico. Ah, okay. In prime, in prime time. Okay, Saira, thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to, let's see, Rodrigo. What is your opinion? Uh, the strategy, the understaffing, mm -hmm. the number three, the working preference to account. Why? Uh, for have the right profiles. To have the right profiles. Can you Ajá, tell us more, please? Uh, contratar well, los, los perfiles correctos. Hire the right people profile. or profiles. Ah, si people. Quiero utilizar oh. esa okay. Can you expand your comment? Podría expandir su, su comment, Rodrigo. Or do you want more time? Or le doy un poquito más de tiempo para que lo explique más. Okay, please, Rodrigo, please. thank you. Juan Carlos, can you continue, please? Oh. In my opinion, teacher, what um, we must consider what are the activities and the time with which you have to calculate the optimal number of employees. Mm -hmm. Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. Now let's listen to Omar. What is your opinion, Omar? My opinion is uh, how the vacancies ident identify. Identify. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that each vacancy had its function uh, activities assigned. Uh-huh, sign. Yes, so if yes. no one is there, you know you have to put someone yes. there, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you need like a schedule, a program. Thank you very much for your comment, Omar. 
Then let's continue, Oscar. Do you have your comment? Yeah, for me, the number four is the best. Mr. Davis, for mm -hmm. over staffing and understaffing, especially having your employees training in me. When the manager knows the strength the increase, you can make uh, one schedule according the, the, the according to the need. So, according to the horarios or the necessities. The needs of the company or necessities yes. of the company. Yes. Okay, Oscar. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Laura. What is your opinion, Laura? My opinion is the number one and number five. <laughs> the why? company, uh -huh. uh, for, why? Uh, the company should allow a schedule change in the provide employee with quick, quickly schedule to avoid abs absence from work. Mm -hmm. In addition, the manager ma must uh, adapt, mm -hmm. adapt the schedule, adapt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. the schedule depending on the taste, test, test, no, test, test of taste of each employee. Mm -hmm. For example, in the restaurant, eh, for eh, rotative schedule. Ajá. Okay. Eh, hay para ponerse de acuerdo, teacher, al final, los empleados que puedan cambiarse los turnos. <laughs> change, change, change. Switch. Change it, uh, uh, sí, switch. Switch. Eh, schedules. Ajá. Or schedules. shifts. Eh, uh -huh. Yes. Just okay, Laura. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good job. I understood. Nelson, it's your turn, Nelson. What Hello. is your opinion? What is your opinion, Nelson? Uh, in my opinion, uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that the the school will help to reduce the start and my for chief. One more time, please. Hello. Una vez más, puedes repetirlo, ah. please. En uh -huh. my open, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. eh, I think uh, that the children will help uh, to reduce start and my work chief. Okay, schedules. Schedules will help. Okay, yes. uh -huh. all right. Thank you, Nelson. Now, Mayra, can you tell us your opinion, please? Teacher, lo mandé al chat, pero se lo puedo leer. Please, uh -huh. yes, I know this. The best strategy is to organize the work team, the mm -hmm. areas, and evaluate the results of these areas in considered time. Mm -hmm. Evaluation too, to see if they need, if they need help or if they need to let go some people. Thank you, Mayra. Are you ready, Rodrigo? Did you finish? Oh, yes, teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, the era the take working preference account uh, for example for an account position how accounting a student who has college on the work to be done mm -hmm. o sea, personas idóneas que estén dentro del puesto de trabajo realizando lo que saben hacer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ok Rodrigo thank you and you can say ideales is ideal. As you said, se diría, ideal people. Ideal people. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. And we have just 
Elena and Maria Concepcion missing. Okay, Maria Concepcion, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, my case, my case is the uh, adult for Schengen in this test. Uh, for me, the changes in the schedule are not good because in my case, they affect me. Um, me okay, but anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, not good because in my case, they affect me because in my world, they are pulling, pulling, I was here, sir. What? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Poniendo. Uh -huh. Put in. Yes. Yes. Then to live later. And uh, they do, do not. Uh, I know. As to rotate the schedule be, between uh, science and the are state of thoughts. Those um, uh, who tell us we must respect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I had some well, questions about the last part, part, but you can send it to me and I will read it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maria Concepcion, for your comment. And okay. lastly, Elena. Elena, can you read your comment? I noticed you send yeah. it in the chat too. Yes, it's a but I am thinking with the opinion of my partner, mm -hmm. maybe depends on company for each one that required, but in a kitchen, maybe, uh -huh. um, is the number one, uh, because the people know, the, know uh, their schedule and responsibility in advance, and it, it allows to improve the efficiency of the team and allow to solve for the manager uh, permit um, with who uh, they can change other people or position. Interesting. Okay, Elena, thank you for your comment. I'm not missing anyone, right? No se me queda nadie. No. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to take the attendance and then we will talk about superlatives. Okay, so Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier, Carlos Antonio, Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Present, okay, Present. thank you. Jose Jonathan. Then Present. Jose. Okay, Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. Okay, then Maria Concepcion and Maria Elena. Present. Mayra Moreno. Okay, Elena. Okay. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Omar Francisco. Present. And Oscar Arnulfo. Uh -huh. Present. Zaira Marleni. Wendy Present, Maribel. teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jenny Santos. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, no thank you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Microphone. All right, guys. So we're going to review superlatives. Vamos a solo recordar un poquito cómo funcionan los superlatives. Ahorita es el momento de que si hay alguna duda, si hay algo que se les olvidó o no se recuerdan bien, podemos este, enfocarnos, por decirlo así, en ese punto. Así que quisiera saber su opinión. I would like to know your opinion. And you can tell me if there is something in specific. Si hay una parte en específico de los superlatives que no entendimos o se nos olvidó. Si no, nos vamos a ir en general, con un general review. Si no hay algo así específico. No. Ok. So, vamos a hacer el, el general review. Solo unos reminders, por así decirlo. 
Okay, superlatives. Superlatives. Okay, Ana, when do we use superlatives? ¿En qué caso vamos a utilizar superlatives, Ana? Do you remember? Superlative teacher. Um, mm -hmm. No remember this. <laughs> okay. Jenny, do you remember the use of superlatives when? When com compare. Uh -huh. compare. To compare. To, to things. Two. Uh, two. Two things. Or, uh, three. Three or two? <laughs> <laughs> I remember two, but. You remember <laughs> two. Okay. And you, Wendy, two things or three things? Three. No, three. three or more. Three, three or, or more. more. Okay, ¿quién da más? Any other changes? No, no, it's okay. Three or more, Jenny. Porque están los comparatives, right? Que son los que confunden, que se parecen. Ajá. But this one, superlative, to compare three, three or, or more. more things. Que mm. puede ser cualquiera. People, animals, objects, whatever. But three or more. So remember, esto es importante porque están los comparatives que tienen otras como reglas y si lo ponemos mal, no nos van a entender o no lo diríamos bien. Ok, so we have the rule, que es lo de poner EST, right? Para transformar un adjective en superlative. We use EST. Con comparatives es ER. Superlatives EST. When you have one syllable adjectives. Okay, one syllable adjectives, EST. For example, big, only one syllable. Superlative de, la palabra de va incorporada. Es obligatoria, de, y luego agregamos EST, right? The biggest. Okay, and then, for example, small, superlative form, the smallest, right? One more example, mm, cheap, superlative form, the cheapest, okay? Lo único que hice fue agregar ESD. That is the only thing I did. ESD at the end. And that is now the superlative form. The cheapest. Then, this is another one. Two syllable adjectives that end in Y. Tenemos estos que son con otra regla, los que terminan en Y y son de dos sílabas. ¿Se recuerdan? Vamos a reemplazar Y y vamos a utilizar I. Y es C, right? Ese era el cambio. Happy, superlative form de happy. Oops. Happiest, right? Ahí es el change. Le quité la Y. I remove Y. And I replace it. La reemplacé por y latina. Heavy. We study that one heavy. Now the heaviest. That is the rule. Okay. Next rule. Two or more syllables. Cuando ya habían dos o más sílabas, entonces solo poníamos the most, right? That is what we did. For example, handsome, handsome, two or more. El superlative sería the most handsome. Okay, or we can say intelligent, superlative form, the most intelligent, okay? So those are the rules. Y había exceptions, right? We have exceptions. Laura, do you remember the exceptions? Se recuerda de, de una exception. 
que veíamos de algunos que totalmente cambian su superlative form. Yes, teacher, en el uh -huh. caso indicates the uh -huh. eh, adjective good. Ajá. Eh, por the best. Ajá. Por yes. the best. Uh, ok. Good will eh, be the best. Yes. The best. Ajá. Eh, bad. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, for the worst. 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 Eh, worst. <laughs> worst es, es la cosa. Yes. RCT. Ajá. En. And there is one es, more. Es small, es small o far, ah, fast, far y fa, fast, fast. Far no, this. Far. Far this. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you, Laura. Good memory or okay. good notes. Okay. Thank you. So that is the exceptions. ¿Verdad? Con estas, con estas reglas vamos a estar trabajando cuando comparen three or more things. I'm going to ask you some questions, but before, do you have questions for me? No sé si hay alguna pregunta para mí, really quick. No? Teacher, eh, uh -huh. la, regla, la regla funciona en cosas o personas, es igual. Yes. Yo lo anoté como, we use super, superlative to compare three or more people. Ajá, yes, pero aplica a todo, tres o más. A todo. Lo que sea, people, animals, objects, books, todo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you, teacher. Les voy a hacer unas preguntas, listen to it, y usen un superlative to practice. Ok, Laura, who is the happiest person in your house? Who? Is the happiest person in your house? Is my my oh my is my <laughs> uh, small sister? <laughs> your young young sister. Young sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y ahí puede utilizar un, un sí, superlative sí, or uh -huh. comparative. Porque ah, no sé si es la más pequeña. Me estaba preguntando quién es la, quién es la más feliz de mi, de la persona más feliz en mi casa, ¿verdad? Yes. Yo le quise contestar que era mi hermana menor. Ajá. Yes. Pero correct. para usar el comparativo en la respuesta, ¿cómo sería entonces? The happiest person ah, in la my house. Ajá. Ajá. In my house is my sister, John. John. John Podría girl. ser Jonkes. Sister, si tiene más de dos, ah, si, tiene, si son tres ah, o más. Younger ah, okay. sister, si solo es usted y ella. Younger. Ah, no, hay más. Ok, youngest. Entonces, Young, con el yes. Youngest sister. Sister. Ah, ok. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Laura. Okay. Now, Juan Carlos. Who is the most intelligent person? No, in past tense. Who was the most intelligent person in your high school, Juan Carlos? Who was the most intelligent person in your high school? The most intelligent, intelligent mm -hmm. was Cesar Romero. Okay, thank you. And Juan Carlos, don't friend. forget. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't forget to use person. Cuando utilicen un superlative, luego de, de poner el, el superlative, the most intelligent, mencionen un noun. Puede ser person, eh, classmate. Hay que poner una palabra. Ahí. Ok. Now, Mayra. Who is the most handsome singer? Who is the most handsome singer? For you. The most singer most is handsome, uh -huh. singer. The most handsome singer is Sebastián Yatra. Okay, thank you, Mayra. Okay, now 
Ana, who is the best actor? Who is the best is, actor uh, in the world? Is um, Jason Sam. Jason, I don't know who he is, but thank you for your answer, Anna. So that's the way it works, okay? That's the way it works. We will practice. Vamos a practicar un poquito más. I sent a document. Well, I have something here first. Vamos a empezar acá, primero, together. Vamos a resolver ahorita. We have two options. We have two options and you have to choose the right one. Okay, you have to choose the right one. We are going to start with Wendy. Okay, Wendy. Number one, tiene dos opciones, Wendy. Analyze the idea. And then you tell me si vamos a utilizar uno o el otro. Pero vamos a empezar con number two. Ah. Number two, porque el primero ya, ya está. Okay. Don't use the bed. Don't you don't use the goodness schedule as a reward. Mm. Se está diciendo que no usemos eso o algo así. O cuál cuál es el mejor? Ajá, estas son las dos palabras. Es una indicación. Ah, Ajá. okay. But don't use the best schedule as a reward. The best, uh -huh. that is the correct form of the superlative. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, now let's try it with Rodrigo. Number three, Rodrigo, what do you think? Okay, is the faster weather. Fastest, the fastest or just fastest? Fastest. Option two. Yes. Okay. Fast, Sería yes, option yes. option one. Option one. La que contiene el de. Porque ah, ese okay. artículo es, es como obligatorio agregar de fastest. Ah, okay. Fast, okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Let's try Zaira. Number four. What is your opinion? Delivery order. These are the, the two most... options. Aquí están las dos opciones. Is that the most popular and the more popular? No. Delivery order are the most popular right the now. The most popular. Correct. Option one. Thank you, Saira. The more is not correct. Thank you, Zaira. Now let's continue. Okay, Eli, can you participate? Puede participar, Eli? Or you can't. Nelson, can you continue? Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. The restaurant as the, the prettiest. Perfect, yes, the prettiest decorations. Thank you, Nelson. Now, Maria Concepcion, okay. can you try number six? Activate the microphone, Maria Concepcion. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, it's, the it's YouTube okay. manager <laughs> works the longest. The, the longest long. Yes, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, now let's continue with the document I sent. The document contains two parts. Part number one, you have to put or write down the comparative form and the superlative form. That is exercise number one. Scroll down, page number two, complete the sentences, use the words in the parentheses. Okay, you have the sentence and you have in parentheses the adjective. La parte número dos, ustedes tienen que completar, ¿verdad? La oración utilizando the superlative form of the adjective. Okay, y la parte número uno tienen que poner 
la, la forma comparativa y la forma superlativa de cada, de cada eh, adjective. Okay. Do you have questions for me? Questions or comments? No? Clear? Clear like crystal water? <laughs> okay, so please open the rooms. I'm going to send you to the rooms. And okay, one moment. Solo more. Comparative is bigger. Ajá. Ay, si no le quité. Me falta la T, ¿verdad? Super la T. Así, ahí está. The bigger. Porque no y aquí sería tipo de lo que no sé cuando es comparativo llevan el dan dan more interesting dan 
por ejemplo, dije, Dan, esta, 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 esta. Pero no sé si lo vamos a poner aquí. Um, you can. It's possible. Sí podría agregársele. Porque sí, ajá, lo lleva. Bigger than. Bigger than. Y si le sale más fácil en el notebook, tomar las notas, Ana, you can do it like that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hello. Se fue. Se no, fue. No, I'm here. Mi, esa, yes. Este que, que, que dice fat uh -huh. es como se pronuncia como en el, en el adjective father, father o father. Father. Como una R. Father. Sí. Ajá. Como una R. R, R. Y fase Ajá. sería fares, fares, algo así. Como gordo, ah, gordísimo. No. Es Fast. más gordo. Faster no, solo fast y fastest. Pero fast, con fast. fast fa, no, con fat. Solo ah, F-A-T. Ese quedaría fatter than. El comparative form. Fatter. The fastest. The fastest. Ajá. <laughs> La pronuncia hecho ortichi es bien fea. Yes. Fates, yes, fates, o fates. 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 Fates y father. Algo así. Como uh, padre fates. le estaba diciendo yo al casón. <laughs> ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Fantástico. Do you have eso. other questions for me? Eh, no, teacher. No, teacher, sorry. porque no. los largos, los, los de more to syllable mm -hmm. eh, is Easy, es easy, solo uh -huh. more y the boss. <ríe> Así uh -huh. que nos estamos saltando a los más difíciles. <ríe> ah, ok. Right. Ok, porque vamos avanzando, teacher. <ríe> ok, I'm happy to hear that. Ok, I'm Thank going you, to teacher. let you continue. I just came here to, to check on you, but I'm going to go okay. in that case. All right, bye okay, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, expensive. Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. How are Sería you? More, more expensive. More expensive. Mm -hmm. Vamos yeah, bien yeah, por yeah. The, 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 most. the most, the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Ya, teacher, somos yes. una master. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Sí, ahí todas las que están están bien. Ajá. Pero sí. quizás le salía mejor hacerlas en el notebook. Sí, a mí. Porque, ajá, porque se, se, le se le va a borrar. Se le va a borrar todo. Y yo no las copié, pero vamos a tomar una captura. Una sí, captura. Ajá. Ok. But yes. Okay. If we yes. don't finish, si yo las les envío la invite para volver y no terminan, pues vamos a terminar allá juntos. Okay? Because okay. of the time. But you can continue. You're going well. Everything I see here, it's, it's okay, correct. Teacher. Tal vez lo único, pero Tengo... no es tan así tan. Este malo es que. El comparative lleva el then, bigger than, happier than, pero no siempre, ¿verdad? A veces no lo vamos a poner, uh -huh. así que no es essential que se lo pongan ahí como parte de. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you're, you're well. Uh -huh. 
Ok, I'm going to go. Me voy a ir entonces. Solo quería ver si necesitaban ayuda, pero veo que van bastante bien, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Or do you have questions? You, no sé si tenían alguna duda. Mm. No, no. I'm not the moment. Not in this moment. Ok. See you. Pat, comparative father y superlative fathers. The fathers. Fantastic. Fantastic. No, 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 teacher, quizá no. No. Ok. Ahí veo que están ahí atrasados ahorita, pensando. <laughs> ok, I'm going to go in that case. Puedo dejar ahí que continúen. Eh, see you in one moment. Si en caso los, los regreso al otro room y no han terminado, allá vamos a terminar juntos. Perfecto. Ok. All right, see you. Esto es, si no me deja celular. Mr. Everest, Mr. Everest is, is biggest. Ese es el ejemplo. I know heighter. Uh -huh. Heightest. Sería, ¿verdad? Lo que como de ver, sí. La una sería eh, Mr. Everest is High, high test, high test mountain, mountain, the teacher, <laughs> no me habíamos <laughs> oído, <laughs> estamos tan entretenidos. Yes, I'm glad, sí veo que ya está pensando, ¿verdad? En cómo lo ponen. Do you have questions yes. for me? En la segunda Mm, tenía un par de dudas duda en mi Ajá. caso en, en fat es así sí. father father y fastest Ajá. Sí. solo la pronunciación se pronuncia tal así. vez father 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 Ajá, porque si no es como que papá Ajá. father yes Ajá. parece bastante father. Okay. Y, new, y el es newer. Newer, yes. Y new mm, west. New west. New west. New west. Yes. Ah, y el otro es fares. The fares. 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 Si va consonant, vowel consonant, yes. Y ese creo que sí. Va así. Consonant, sí. vowel, sí. consonant. Es vowel. Consonant, consonant. Es basado en las últimas va, tres letras. Digamos, las últimas tres letras. Después va vocal y después consonant. Ajá. Entonces después sí. va N otra vez. Se ¿verdad? duplica. Ah, pues eso me faltó. Se duplica la N. Ok. Eso me faltaba. Okay. Ah, y esa del okay. el Mount Everest, la pronunciación es high. High es high. el normal form, higher y highest. That is the pronunciation. Higher y highest. Uh -huh. En este caso sería highest. Highest, the highest. Highest. Uh -huh. highest. Ok. Highest. Mountain in the world. Baikal deep, deep, deepest. 
Deep is deep is así sería. Baikal is deepest teacher. Uh -huh, porque lleva las reglas de que es una sílaba deep. deep. Entonces deep. ya quedaría deepest. Ok. Deepest take in, in the world. World. Y Baikal is mm -hmm. a no Lake Eva. Lake. Number three. Lake. Uh -huh. Lerish. I'm going Baikal. to leave. I'm going to visit other rooms, but you're doing well. Okay. See okay. you there in one moment. Bye bye. Okay. Sí. Existen sería como ya más de tres. Sería de Moss. Hello. ¿Qué, Hi, ¿qué tal sigue su cabecita? Ahí. Trabajando y ya. Y se <risa> va. Trabajando para que se le quite el dolor. <risa> y se va a poder quedar ahora, María Concepción. Sí, teacher. Yes, porque le quería preguntar sí, eso. Sí, teacher, como... no hay problema. Okay, all right. I wanted sí. to check. Do you have Teacher. questions? Mm -hmm. Sí. Eh, fat is fat, 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 yes, ¿verdad? Con doble uh -huh. T. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. yes. Siem yeah, siempre va basado en las últimas tres letras. Ese en este caso, pues es solo de tres. Pero si fuera más largo, uh -huh. siempre lo van a basar en las últimas tres letras. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces la duplican. Uh, uh -huh. Ok. Me, ah, Así como thin. Ajá, en esa. Es thinest. Oh, ¿Cómo es thinest? Así. Thinner al final. Thinest. Ajá, al final thinest. Ajá, se duplicaría porque basado en las últimas tres letras va esa. Ahí está. Consonante. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Oh, mm -hmm. Le vamos a duplicar okay. In about one minute, well, two minutes, I'm going to send you back. We will finish together. Ya ya vamos a terminar juntos, ¿verdad? Porque todavía les falta un poquito. But we will finish there. Bye. And Lily, how are you doing, Lily? ¿Qué tal va? Yes. Yes, <laughs> Do you have questions? For me. No sé si tiene alguna sí, duda. Uh -huh. Sí, el día que creo que no estuve, el día que pasó esto. Porque eh, yo les preguntaba a ellos por qué en, en una dicen de mos y en otra solamente de. Ah, es por el número de consonantes o, o, o de sílabas. Show. Perdón, el número de sílabas. Cuando no. tiene dos o más sílabas, Lily, se utiliza the most para el superlativo. Pero si solo es una sílaba, se utiliza el IST. Así como no. ahí donde dice new, solo es un new. sonido, una sílaba. Ah, okay. Entonces ahí es solo IST. Así, new west, the new west, right? Pero así donde dice oh. fantastic, fantastic. Three syllables. Entonces ahí tenemos que poner por ley the most. Porque el es sí solo es para pero, una. Pero solamente va en el superlativo. Ajá. En el comparativo va la otra regla. ¿Cuál? La de la E y la R. Ah, solo la agregaría entonces. Cuando es una sílaba. Uh -huh. Cuando son dos o más es more. More y el adjective. More fantastic. Mm. Ese es el comparative. Pero el mm. superlative es the most fantastic. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Entonces. Yeah, ahora sí. Uh -huh. But we will continue in the other room. Vamos a terminar de verlo allá. You still have one minute okay. to continue checking. But in one minute, you will be back.
Hi, welcome back. Okay, I'm going to check it out really quick. Lo vamos a revisar rápido. Les voy a dar las respuestas acá. Y ustedes pueden comparar. You can compare with the ones that you have. Okay, so let's begin. Interesting, it's, it's going to be more interesting. And the other one is the most, right? The most interesting, right? Big. Ah, uh, well, yes, we can add it here, but we don't always use it. El den no siempre se utilizaría. Aunque, uh -huh. okay, I will add it there. Then big, it will be okay, bigger than, right? And superlative form, the biggest, happy, happier than, and the other one is the happiest, happiest, small, smaller than, superlative form, the smallest expensive more expensive superlative form the most expensive the most expensive thin you have to double the n en la de thin vamos a duplicar la n y quedaría thinner than and the other one will be the thinnest, the thinnest, that is the superlative. Short, shorter than, and the, the shortest, shortest. Okay, questions until this part? No sé si hay alguna duda hasta este punto. No? Okay, I'm going to erase it. I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to continue here. Exciting. Comparative form, more exciting than. Superlative, the most exciting. But it will be better than and the fattest, the fattest. Fantastic, more fantastic than. In superlative form, the most fantastic. Colorful, more colorful then and the other one will be the most colorful young younger than superlative form the youngest right youngest new New word then, and the other one will be the newest, the newest. Delicious, more delicious then, and the most delicious, the most delicious. Do we have the same? If you have that, si ustedes tenían eso, that was the right answer. Okay, congratulations if that is what you have. I don't know if you have comments. No sé si tienen algún comentario about this part. No. Okay. okay. Well, now let's continue here. Okay. Wendy, can you help us with number one, please? Okay. Mount, the abbreviation. Mount. 
Mount. Mm -hmm. Mount. Mount yep. Everest is, sorry. Well, hi. Pronunciation, I, remember, I don't remember. The base form is high. Higher. Uh, that is the comparison. Highest. The highest. Highest mountain Everything. in the world. Uh -huh. The highest. That highest. is the superlative. The highest mountain in the world. Okay, Rodrigo, can you help us with number two, please? Baker is the deepest lake in the world. The deepest. Thank you. The deepest. Correct. Juan Carlos, can you help us with number three? The Pacific Ocean is the large, largest ocean. Mm -hmm. The largest. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Number four, Laura, please. The Amazon River is uh, the longest river. Thank you very much. The longest river. Okay, thank you, Laura. Mayra, number five, please. Tokyo is the most crowded city in Japan. Thank you. The most crowded. Correct. I'm missing a T here. Crowded city in Japan. Thank you, Mayra. That's the one. Nelson, number six, please. Uh, this buyer is the other place in the world. The hardest. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nelson. Can you help us, Ida, with number seven, please? Uh, the microphone, Ida. Excuse me. Eight Akam, this dessert is uh, dra Dryest. The driest is is the driest. Is uh -huh. the place? driest place in the world. Place in the world. Thank you. The driest place in the world. That will be the the superlative form. Thank you. Do you know the word dry? No sé si conocen ese adj ese adjective dry. No. Dry is seco. seco, correct. Lo opuesto de húmedo, seco. Thank you, no seco de delgado. <laughs> okay, let's continue <laughs> with the last one. Can you help us, Jenny, please? Egypto is... Egypt. Oldest... Uh -huh. Egypt. Uh -huh. Egypt is the oldest country in the world. The oldest, correct. Thank you. Okay, well, you did very well. Mm -hmm. Again, comments or doubts? No sé si hay alguna duda o comentario about that part. No? Okay. Mayra, let me know when you finish. Me avisa cuando termine, Mayra, para yo borrar aquí la, la info. Yeah, you finish. Okay. I'm going yes. to remove the info. Okay, thank you. This is the last, the last thing we will do. By the way, remember if you haven't finished section three of the platform or on the platform, remember to finish. Se recuerdan de terminar su homework, please. Si no la han terminado. Algunos ya vi que ya la tienen toda, pero si no, please, please finish that section, section three. Okay, the last thing you have to do is that you have to talk about the best place in El Salvador or it could be in Central America. Okay. 
I'm going to put it here. Talk about the best place in, oh my God, in, okay, in El Salvador. In El Salvador, or it could be in Central America or in the world. Or Central America or the world. Okay. Van a hablar un poquito sobre el lugar que ustedes consideren el mejor. Puede ser de acá, de El Salvador, puede ser de Centro América o puede ser del mundo. Okay. You have to talk about that place. It's not necessary that you use a lot of, a lot of superlatives, but use them. Van a tener que mezclar la gramática. No es necesario que todo, todo lo que digan lleve superla superlatives, ¿verdad? Porque a veces van a tener que hacer un mix con otras cosas, pero traten de utilizar. Okay, try to use superlatives. I'm going to give you one minute. De nuevo les voy a dar un minuto para que ordenen sus ideas. And then we start. Y de ahí comenzamos. In one minute. You have to talk. Talk about the best place. We start in one minute. Questions? No? Okay. In one minute, we will begin. Okay, so we are going to start now. Juan Carlos, you're going to be the first one. Uh, the mountain, El Pital, is the best place in the suburb for the camp, for to camp. Can you tell us a little bit more? No sé si puede expandir su comment, Juan Carlos, please. Uh, because the weather is cold. Mm -hmm. A little um, bit more. Uh -huh. <laughs> the mountain is highest, is the most highest. Is the, the highest. Suburb. Is in the this. highest, excuse me. Mm -hmm. is the highest in the suburb too. Okay. It's a large trip, large or long, long trip? Long, long trip. trip. Yes, I don't know that Salvador, place. From San Salvador to Chalatenango. Uh -huh. Yes, I have heard good comments about El Pital. And you consider okay. it the one of the best places or the best place, right? Yes. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Now, Juan Carlos, who is next? Por favor, escoja la siguiente persona. The next person Ana, to continue. Ana. Ana. Okay, Ana. Please continue. Okay. 
Me está durmiendo. Bueno, Juan Carlos. No. <risa> Al que se vea durmiendo, ah. Juan Carlos. Okay. For me, in, in the best place is in the beaches. 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 Ajá. Beaches. beaches. Y es el espino uh, a mm -hmm. Costa del Sol. Y en the mountain is a uh, Cerro Verde in Volcán, San Salvador. Is a um, fresh school. The weather, the weather is cool. Yes, it's uh -huh. cool, the weather. Okay, Anna, thank you very yes. much. Choose the next okay. person, Anna. Is a uh, Jenny. Jenny, okay, Jenny, continue. Hi. <laughs> Suchitoto is for me the most beautiful place in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. it's, it is the village most colonial. Uh, the most colonial, colonial. Uh -huh. village uh -huh. that, uh -huh. I, that I know in El Salvador. Uh -huh. I love the street in places that I can visit there. Mm -hmm. There in eh, paisajes, ¿cómo es? Landscapes. Landscape. Y eh, he, bueno, es, it has, has it the has. most, ajá, the most, eh, ¿cuál era la palabra? Beautiful. No. Sí, the most beautiful eh, in El Salvador. For the me. most beautiful landscapes or landscapes. Places. Ajá. Landscapes. Okay, Jenny, excellent. Thank you for telling us about Suchitoto. Who is next, Jenny? Todavía tenemos espacio para más. Um, Who is next? A ver. Eh, Laura. Laura. Okay, Laura, continue. Okay, no, no me estaba durmiendo. Okay. <laughs> I, I place of oh, oh, from. County is El Salvador, okay? El Salvador is one of the smallest countries on the continent, mm -hmm. eh, but that does, doesn't prevent its mm -hmm. stories attraction from being being enormous is natural beauty. Is this soon soon run soon rounded with imposing volcano mountain mountain lights and uh -huh. beaches, mm -hmm. beaches with sur and uh -huh. in addition is has some on the most important archaeological archaeological archaeology teacher. O sitio ah. arqueol Ajá, arqueological cities, cities, sites. Mm -hmm. sites on the continent. Hasta ahí. Ok, ok, Laura. Right. No, no much. más discreción. <laughs> ok. Ok, we have, we have time for one more, to listen one more person, Laura. Todavía tenemos tiempo para uno más. Who is the last one? Galileo. Galileo oh, is not no. available. Ah, no. Eh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, don't say sorry. Okay, okay Rodrigo. Okay, for me, the best place I have visiting El Salvador has been the Apanek city. Mm -hmm. I like it for, for its climate, a very quiet place for mm -hmm. a day my family I am friends. Mm -hmm. y... No sé cómo decirlo, el que tienen una cuerda que va de un lugar hacia otro. Ah, pero está hablando del deporte. De donde ah, se... que Eso tienen se para llama... poderlo hacerlo ah, uno, sí. It's possible to practice. De Podría decir uh -huh. que se puede practicar. It's possible to practice zip lining. Yes. Así se le llama ese deporte. Ajá. Ok, ok. Correct. Only. And in this moment, in December, is better, right? Because right now yes. the weather is cold, so it's, it's cold. a good, uh -huh. it's a good idea, an attractive place. The weather, yes. yes. Thank you, Rodrigo. I understood your comment. 
Okay, I know that you want to continue, but because of the time we have to stop, but please send me the message by WhatsApp and tomorrow I'm going to give you feedback, okay? A los que ya no pudimos escuchar, me lo pueden enviar ahí a WhatsApp. Yo les envío ahí feedback tomorrow during the day. In this moment, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? And then I'm going to stay with Maria Concepcion. Okay, I'm going to stay with Maria Concepcion. Okay, so let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier, Carlos Antonio, Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Thank you. Mayra. Okay. Mayra Moreno. Present. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the weekend. Try to come to the class on Monday is the last week. So try, okay, try. I know December is kind of difficult, right? because you have a lot of activities, but I hope to see you on Monday. Sweet dreams to all of you. Okay. Nice to see Good you night. guys. Good, Good night. night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Sweet dreams. Thank you. See you later. One moment. One moment, Maria Concepcion. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, I think we can continue. So how were you doing? So, so. ¿Qué tal sigue ya después de su operación? Um, mejor. Yo que ya, ya mejor, ya quiero correr, pero no puedo. Ah, ah, ok, sí, porque dijo de que tenía dolores constantes, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita ya se le calmó sí. todo eso, pues. Ya con lo pues que le quitaron. Que 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 ya inicié a trabajar otra vez, eh, quizás porque soy reciente y me toca andar caminando mucho. Me ha estado viendo, pero solo tengo tres días de haber ingresado. Ah, ok. Tal vez es porque todavía no ha sanado, ¿verdad? Totalmente. A lo mejor porque por fuera dicen puede ser una cosa, pero por dentro yo mm, Esperemos que eso sea, porque si no va a sentir que por gusto la operaron. Si todo sigue igual. La verdad que sí. Así que esperemos que no sea esta la, la respuesta. Sí. Ajá. Ya me asustaron varias personas, de hecho. Diciéndole algo así, de que quizás no era eso, sí, quizás era otra que... cosa. Ajá. Ah, ay, no. Mejor no piense eso porque va a decir por gusto todo lo que me hicieron. Y, y no. Sí. A ver qué pasa. Días. <laughs> okay. Sí, so, la verdad que sí, pero... I hope you you can get better. Que no sea así. But yes, Maria Concepcion, yes, yes. tell me how could I help you? What would you like to reinforce? Hay algo que le gustaría reforzar más? Pues fíjense que a pesar de lo que, que casi he estado solo como oyente, creo que le he agarrado un poquito a, a lo que he estado <laughs> explicando. Uh -huh. Yeah. pero sí, en sí, creo que tengo que como afinar un poco más el oído porque hay mm. cosas que no entiendo aún. O sea, tengo que escuchárselas cuando se lo repite esa como tres veces y ahí acá Really? Ah, ok. Sí. Well, if you want to, we can practice conversation. We can try to speak only in, in English so you can practice your listening. 
Do you want to do that? Uh, sí, le comprendí ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ok. Si era que practicáramos uh, platicando, o no sé si quisiera hacer uh, algo más. Y si no le, no, le, no le entiendo, o sea, la cosa es que yo puedo entenderle, pero no voy a saber cómo expresar. You can take your time. Vamos a probar, porque esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que usted se vaya expresando ahí sus ideas en inglés. Ok, let's begin. Okay. All right, vamos a ir poquito a poquito. Ok, María Concepción, how old are you? I'm five. How old are you? Ah, uh, uh, I am uh, 20, I know, 30 years old. 30 years old. Ok, where do you live? I am live in San Marcos. In San Marcos. Can you yes. tell me a little bit about your profession or your occupation? It is a uh, maintenance the office. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, tell me about um, your, your job and your uh, occupations or responsibilities. Ay, lo que pasa es que ahí tengo una responsabilidad. ¿Mm? Uh, tengo varias responsabilidades, o sea, estoy enfocada en mantenimiento, pero al mismo tiempo me, me, me estoy como, eh, se llama assistant de office, de managers. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Ok, podría decir esto para que tratemos de siempre mantenerlo en inglés. I have... Okay many responsibilities. I have many responsibilities or uh -huh, many responsibilities. Y dijo I de que la principal, ¿verdad? Dijo que había uh -huh. una como primaria. ¿O no? The, the office. Ok. The main, main es como primario. The principal. The main activity is y ya pone su activity. The main activity is to maintenance the office. Is to main, maintenance is to mantenimiento. Ajá. Pero ahí es como man, mantener, como darle mantenimiento a la oficina. Ajá. Maintenance sí, the office. And, y ahí conecta, ¿verdad? O also, in addition, ahí puede usar un conector y ya menciona las otras. Ok. So, así como, the main activity is the main office and attend mm -hmm. the manager, manager, manager. Mm -hmm. um, Cambiar, sé que no sé qué es. Cambiar como cash, de hacerlos efectivo o como. Sí, sí. Cash. Entonces puede sí. decir cash de checks. O cash checks. Cash check in the bank. Ah, oh, ok. In the, in, in the others. Porque esto, como todo lo que se me puede decir, le pasa son como. Tengo que preguntarle una por una en inglés, porque no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you have one daughter, right? Yes. Can you describe your daughter? Tell yes, me about why? your daughter. Uh -huh. Describe, describe in the oh, chat. Okay. Describe your uh, daughter a little bit. My daughter is imperative. Uh, <laughs> Hyper, hyperactive. Uh, uh -huh. okay, or uh, very energetic. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she has. She has a head. She has a head. She has She has a She has a She has She has She's 
is very intelligent uh, in the school, uh, go to first lugar, like first place. Mm -hmm. She has uh, the first the place. place. She, she has the first she has place. First place. Uh -huh. The first uh, place in her class. In uh, her class. In, the, in, in her class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In her class. Um, wow. That is, is yes, amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Saber, ¿cómo se dice? She knows. She knows. Uh, she knows, she knows uh, English. She speaks English. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, kids are very intelligent. And for kids, it's easier. It's easier for kids to learn English. So don't feel bad. It's normal. Kids yeah. learn English easy and fast. It's like an ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the Francis or French, French, yes, she speaks French too. She speaks, uh huh, she speaks French like this. She speaks French too. A little bit or a lot. A little bit a lot. Ah, yes. Wow. Um, yes. And she is seven, uh, seven years old. Seven. Yes. And how did she learn? How did she learn English and uh, French? In Duolingo, I Ah, okay, Duolingo, the application. Yes. It's very famous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Así <laughs> aprendí, ha aprendido, sería, no, eso es, sí, ¿verdad? She learned. Yeah. Or that she is learned, the way, uh, podría decir. That is the way. That is, that is the way. She learned. Mm -hmm. I will send it to her. That is the way she learn. Learn in past tense. Okay. Okay, so how do you feel? Ya ve que sí entiende María Concepción. Solo se pone nerviosa. Muy nerviosa. Sí, bastante. Y creo que lo noto. Sí, verdad. Sí, quizás también. En ese sentido. No, a veces también creo que Bueno, Zaira comenta eso, que ella se pone muy nerviosa cuando habla en frente como de otros. O, y es normal, creo yo, hasta cierto punto siempre a uno le da pena de equivocarse o expresarse, sí. cuesta. Hay que perder la pena. Sí. Sí. Como yo le decía a Arnoldo, un día de esos que me metió a, a, en grupo los dos, uh -huh. a mí me da como terror que se vayan a burlar de mí, a hablar ah, ah, o así. Que más parece que estoy hablando francés y no inglés. Ajá. Y me dice, no, pero yo le he visto un gran progreso de tecnología. ¿no? Yo, pues, pero a veces ah, lo ve, pero uno desde no hace lo tiempo, siente. Desde hace tiempo están juntos. Desde el 3 estamos juntos. Ah, ok. Ya llevan sus meses juntos, entonces. Ajá, entonces él dice que él se me ha visto progreso, pero no es lo mismo que se lo dejan sentir. ¿no? <risa> Eso es cierto. Pero sí, yo siento de que a veces eso este, influye bastante, los nervios que a uno le dan. A veces a uno de los nervios no actúa igual que cuando uno está tranquilo, ¿verdad? Y, y eso, ¿verdad? Que usted me dice que a veces su listening como que siempre es su talón de Aquiles y le cuesta entender a veces lo que le dicen. Entonces se requiere sí. práctica para, para irlo ahí mejorando. Hoy lo que estoy haciendo es quedarme con la clase escuchándola así me quedo dormida escuchándola porque me, <risa> mi hermana me dio como el a tips. soñar conmigo entonces 
Sí, de verdad que mi hermana me dio el tip porque como ella es psicóloga, me dijo que me quedara con ella. Ah, ¿really? Con audífonos ahí para, yes, ah, okay. para que me quedara ahí algo de Ese la clase. Ese tip no me lo sabía como, yo. ¿Cómo quedarse oyendo eh, dice que, inglés o cómo? Sí, para que el oído se vaya adaptando. Ah, okay. Así es que ahí lo vamos a poner, seguir poniendo en práctica porque por eso es que le he entendido un poco a las conversaciones. Ah, ok. Así ¿Le ha funcionado así. entonces? Diría yo que sí. Ahí su voz es la que más escucha. <risa> ah, bueno. Ah, okay. Así es que puede ser que un día de estos sí me toque soñar con su Sí, yo creo que sí. Yo creo que sí va a pasar eso un día. Ah, ok. Bueno, pero eso es que no soy... lo yes, Sí, yes. así me dijo ella, pero... Ahí Ajá, porque como no, hoy no me queda así. Antes lo hacía en el día un ratito, pero hoy no me queda así como el tiempo para hacerlo así. Entonces, Mejor en la noche. Toca... Lo pongo de, de canción de cuna. Pero me quedo dormida. Así. Ah, okay. Que me botó el Ah, ok, María Concepción. Lo que sea que le funcione más, okay, continue doing it. Ok, teacher. Ok, María Concepción. We're going to stop here and we continue on Monday then. Do you have any other okay, questions teachers. for me? No, teacher. No. Eso. Ok. Y Good no le puedo preguntar you. lo mismo porque todavía tengo ahí presente que usted me dijo que escuchara música. Ajá. Sí, sí, yo me recuerdo que platicamos de eso el mes pasado. Pero ah, ese tip ah, que sí. le dio su hermana, ese no me lo sabía. De escuchar algo en inglés y dormirse con ello. Me imagino que funciona con música y con películas y todo, ¿verdad? Sí, solo que ella me recomendó que escuchara la clase. ¿no? Ah, las clases. Ah, okay. Sí, porque como es ahí donde debo de entender, ¿verdad? Un poco más. Entonces, ahí se ha enfocado. Clases, ¿no? sí, uh -huh. Ahí me he quedado así como. O quizás es que yo también puedo. Ajá, ajá. Quizás tal vez también puedo tratar yo de a veces hablar un poco más lento, ¿verdad? En vez de, de decirlo muy rápido, tal vez hacerlo un poco más, más lento. Es que yo siento que ustedes no tienen hasta una conciencia. No, no sé por es. ejemplo, yo veo, eh, me, veo mi espejo en Nelson. <risa> <risa> Solo que él como que pierde el miedo y él sí habla más. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero yo digo, ay, Nelson se pierde el miedo porque no entiende mucho, pero está ahí. <risa> No, no, pero ajá, todos nos cuestan y ahí, ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí. si usted ajá. tiene esa gran paciencia y tiene la delicadeza no sé. de estar con ahí. No sé por qué dicen eso, porque yo no siento así que sea como bien paciente, pero sí me han dicho que sienten que soy paciente, pero yo no siento que soy así. Siento que eso es pues, normal, pero qué bueno pues ya que, que tienen esa ya que se lo, está, se lo estoy reafirmando. <ríe> ok, thank you. Thank you, María Concepción. Sí, de verdad. Y gracias okay. por ser tan linda porque me estaba ahí echando la mano. Y no pude ver la okay. cabeza para okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Muchas gracias, teacher. It's a pleasure, María Concepción. Yeah. I'm going to let you go in that case and we continue on Monday, okay? Sweet dreams. Okay, teacher. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.